So, welcome back. This is going to be my full technical analysis of the commodities market and the precious metals market for Friday, December 4, 2020. Uh, we'll start off by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically been dropping like a rock in the US dollar index the last three weeks. Um, there looks like no end in sight, even though the RSI is at uh, the 26 at this point. We are significantly oversold here. A pullback is expected. We have the 20 exponential here at 92.02 uh, and the 50 at 92.95. I don't think we're going up uh, to this level here anytime soon, but a move towards the 20 exponential, that is probably, probably where we'll go. If you look at the four hour chart, we can see that we have already started this uh, rally here and what we could expect tomorrow is that we rally up to 91. That is probably as high as this will go, but it will have an enormous effect on currencies because most of them are absolutely overstretched at this point, and also uh, most commodities are overstretched and indices. So expect we could see a massive fall in most of the indices um, and commodities tomorrow. That is a probability if we start rounding all the way up to 91. So pay attention to the US dollar index. It will most likely lead the way tomorrow. So let's look at oil. And as you can see, we have rallied today, but I am wary of oil. I'm not interested in basically entering this market whatsoever. If we have a rally in the US dollar tomorrow, this will fall towards the 20 exponential or these previous highs here at uh, at uh, at, thir at 30 uh, 33.5. We're uh, we're going into the to the weekend and therefore I don't like to hold this over the weekend because there can always be some kind of news uh, over the weekend that can uh, make or break this market. So I don't like trading this on a Friday. But the pullback towards this level here is a buying opportunity. But I think that we are going to see this market rally up towards the 50 before breaking down again. Technical indicators for this are very flat at this stage. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens here. Um, rally up towards the 50, selling opportunity. Uh, um, a pullback towards these previous highs here, that is a buying opportunity. I don't think this market will go lower than that. So natural gas. I've had so many people uh, writing to me about natural gas today that they're wanting to enter this, enter this market. But I've tried this several times. When you think you hit the bottom of this market, it basically takes your head off. So at this stage, it looks like we have basically reached up the bottom of this market. This was completely predictable. Um, when we started breaking down here, the target was 2.5. We re reached 2.5, but even though I <laughs> kind of knew that we we're going to 2.5, I was not willing to basically enter this market because I've tried this trade so many times. Um, trying to sell this even here, when you were here, it could be so easily rallied towards the 50 and go higher. So what you basically should look for is a massive support level. And this looks like a massive support level. We still have the 200 moving average done here at 2.2. So if this breaks, then we're heading to 2.2. And that is probably as far as this market will go. Um, these technical indicators are very bearish at this point. We still have some room to the downside. That could mean that we could stick around here for a while um, and then fall further or continue sideways and then go higher towards the 20 um, exponential moving average. But this is a really costly commodity to hold um, over the weekend. So if you're intending to uh, make a major investment in natural gas and hold it over the weekend, uh, that is going to cost you a lot in fees so we'll see what happens here but a pullback from here is a buying opportunity with a with a with a very narrow stop loss right underneath here if things go wrong um, so we'll see so let's look at copper 
And as you can see, we have started to fall. This will mostly likely be the next commodity that I will invest in yet again, because this inverted hammer here is a signal that we are about to go lower. We have tested these highs again. We have been rejected. We have basically started to this in, inverted hammer is a signal that we are going to go lower. And these technical indicators are also screaming that we are going to go lower. So the target is 3.3. It will probably go all the way down there. We will have 3.5 or something like that. That will be the target for this market. So if the US dollar index starts to appreciate, this will fall. And then there we can sell it towards 3.35. Uh, um, and then we can buy it again to these previous highs. So that is the idea for copper. So let's look at gold. So this is a trade that did not go my way. I was waiting for this fall for a long time but we fell all the way down towards 1763 and that's not what I expect to happen this shows sign of massive weakness in this market and and also now when we rallied up towards the 20 exponential and haven't broken the 20 exponential this should be easy to break um, I'm not willing to buy buy into this even though these technical indicators are very bullish at this stage and there's a lot of room to the upside, I think that we're just going to stay within the range of 20 and the 200 moving average uh, for some time. If we have a rally in the US dollar index, this will fall towards the 200 and then we'll see whether or not it will rally up towards the 50 and so on. So we could make the case that we have a massive... Um, support line here if we fall towards this line here that will be um that will that will most certainly be um a buying opportunity and in the long run you could also make the case that the top of this here and that top there that we are going to see this market travel sideways in towards this corner here before we break to the upside. So the corner here is roughly 1850. What a coincidence, right? That is going to be the price level that is going to make or break um, for gold. And if I make my bet, I would bet to the upside. Long run should be significant support in this market. And uh, until we basically get closer towards this corner here, um, it is just um, it is just pure gamble at this point. It can go up, it can go down, and, and so on. So it probably won't be a trade until we get to this area here, which is roughly uh, 1850. There's a lot of trades that you can do in between this area here instead of wasting your time with gold. But we'll see what basically happens here. So let's look at silver. So silver also, we tried to rally above the 50 moving average. We just can't. We have done this so often in the past. And what we're going to see here is a turn around the silver back towards these lows here at 22.5. You know, and then maybe we'll go lower to uh, 20, probably. Um, yes, if you look at the Fibonacci retracements, which probably are the best, estimates for this we can see that first Fibonacci retracement is here 22.7 that will be major so support and then the 50 are here exactly above the 200 moving average so um this will be as far as the market goes it won't go further than this that is almost a guarantee so the further we fall towards the 200 moving average the better the buying opportunity uh, but this is a very similar in trade to to gold you couldn't uh, i can imagine that we fall all the way down to this level here we'll get a very similar triangle something similar to this and then we can take these highs here and that means that we'll fall towards this level here and then go trading within this corner before we go to the upside that is what is most likely going to happen in this market but this is 
this is pure spe- uh, not pure speculation, but this is what can happen and what I expect is going to happen the next month and month, uh, the next two months actually. So this is uh, roughly in January. We'll figure. We'll find out where we'll break to the upside or break to the downside in the long run. So let's look at platinum. We can see that we continue this rally and we have hit the very highest here. And we can see that if we basically make there, yeah, we hit the basically highs over there. So we can push this over here. So we have a double top here. What I expect at this point, a pullback towards the uh, 20 exponential. Um, we'll find support here, 995. We'll find support here at 978. And um, that is basically your buying opportunity with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential because the 20 exponential has been proven to be very significant support. So uh, putting a stop loss underneath the 20 exponential, that is basically the uh, best idea and to target these uh, previous highs again. Um, this should have been a trade that I... I should have done way back in the days when we were in the basically the beginning of October should round here because it was really obvious that that we were not going to break below this area here just look the massive support that was here and sorry also the massive support that we saw right here so in order for us to break through this entire area in order to get this very low. That was not going to happen. And therefore, the bet should have been to the upside. But um, it's easy to be smart um, now. But but that is basically the bet that should have been made here. So this is a gain of, well, uh, well a lot of percentages. So, so um, yeah, that was, that was some, that was not a, not the right choice. But at this point, we could have a pullback to round half and then regain this trade here. Um, that is because we are most likely going to go significantly higher in this market. You can see that we also were visiting this, uh, this price level uh, way back in 2017. So let's look at the uh, pallium. Palladium. And as you can see, we have basically fallen off a cliff. And uh, this was fairly expected. Um, I think I mentioned this yesterday that if we rallied, we would go to these highs. But because we tried so many times, then usually what happens is that you fall the other way. And at this point, I don't really see how we are going to um, take out these highs here. So we found support here around the 2.2. We have been in this area several times uh, in the past. And at this point, I do believe that we're going to revisit this area. So what is happening in this market uh, at, this, at this point, I can basically see that this is probably the high of this market. So this was an overreaction. You can see how far we got in the in the in the. Um, this, um, in the CCI and also the also in in the other indicators that we, we were way overstretched and therefore we got to these previous highs. But this should basically be your very highs and not this. And the very lows should be all the way down here. So we did not get to these very lows, but you can basically make the case that we are going back down to these very lows before we go back to these to these highs so we're right in the middle of things so this is not a trade that you should enter whatsoever even though these technical indicators are looking very dreadful at this point um, wait to get these very lows have a turnaround and then you can target these highs that is the right choice to make in this case so aluminium we can see that this is starting to look really interesting we have a major pullback towards uh, uh, 1.997. Uh, we need to get, this is basically as probably as far as we can go 
these are the previous highs here, but I wanted to go all the way down to down 20 exponential. So the 20 exponential is at the moment is at the 1.965. Um, a pullback from this area price level is with the entry for a buy and target these very highs with a stop loss underneath there. Technical indicators for this look really dreadful at this point. So it won't, it probably won't be until sometimes next week where this will start to show signs of life again and then turn around. So let's start by looking at nickel. And as you can see, we are, have broke down uh, towards the 50. I think that we are going to go, go all the way down to the 50 and that will be your buying opportunity. You should have a stop loss around here at 15.2 and then target these highs of 16.45. So until we get to this level, have a pull, have a turnaround here and just wait to see what happens. We could also uh, rally from here and then it's just a, not a trade that you should uh, try to do because it's just not worth it to be fairly honest. So let's look at sugar. So we have been all over the place in the sugar market today. We, we crossed the 20 exponential and then pull back and now we are up around half a percent something like that but i'm still looking forward to this because these technical indicators are turning around it's not until the macd basically crosses the signal line that the real money is going to be um, earned in this market we'll find quite a lot of resistance here at 0 0.1497 uh, before heading towards these very highs the 50 moving average proved to be massive support. We have this hammer here uh, to prove that, that buyers came in and basically pressured this price up. So every time we get close to the 50, we will see buyers come in. So at this point, this is a market that I am buying in and I'm just going to hold and see how far we can basically get. So let's look at cotton. We can see that we have... Uh, pull back towards the 20 exponential. Uh, we'll probably go a little bit further than that. I hope that we can go all the way down to 0 0.69, uh, as close to the 50 moving average as possible before we see these technical indicators turning around. So um, this is another market we have been waiting for quite some time. Uh, fall towards the 50, pull, uh, turn around here is basically what we're looking for. So down up and down and then continue to take out these highs and probably even higher than that so let's look at cocoa so i pulled out of the cocoa trades um, yesterday when we were around here and today we rallied significantly and then created this inverted hammer which looks like well that is not a good sign for cocoa this could mean that we will break the 20 exponential head towards the 2.5, uh, which was my uh, initial target uh, before I got out of this market because there were signs that there was going to be a pullback, which it also was. Um, if you look at the Fibonacci retracements, the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement is at uh, 2.525. Um, that could be a, a target, but here 2.5, is most likely going to be where we'll turn around in this market. Um, this is a very bad sign for uh, for Kakoa. These technical indicators also look um, are looking dreadful, especially the MACD is crossing the signal line now. So we'll most likely go lower in this market. Um, it is to be seen um, uh, whether or not to enter this market again or or not. So look at wheat. As you can see, we started, uh, we have started rallying, but we're still trading underneath the 50 and the 20 exponential. So it could mean that we uh, we uh, will make further lower lows the here, here, and here. Not, uh, not. It is probably what's going to happen, and therefore I'm not buying into this. We could rally up towards the 50, turn around here, go even lower, rally, go even lower, all the way down to five. Uh, 550 where we'll find the bottom of this market um, technical indicators for this are just flat at this point and uh, there is no sign of massive life in this market so 
until we basically break the 50 and break these previous highs. And that will basically show that the, we are back on schedule to, do, to go even higher in this market. So hope you found this helpful. Uh, you're welcome to ask me, uh, send me questions if you have questions about these trades. And uh, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.